Okay. All right. Whoa. We're just seeing things and things going by like flashing in front of your eyes quick. Bioscience Station Disaster. Relaunch of Metastopheles. New breed. What is this, an alien race? Sketch of Metastopheles. The word I can't say. She is under the command of Captain Barry Chow, hero of the Mars Riots, and is to be Captain Chow's last posting. A spokesman for the Federation, Navy something. This is worse than Five Days a Stranger. It was good enough in the 23rd century, it's good enough today. So this takes place in the future then, by like quite a bit. Okay, nice. Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave and Welcome to Seven Days a Skeptic. I'm going to turn the volume down on this a little bit. And yep, you're going to not get... Okay, not that much. Maybe here. I hate that it does that. I really do. Eh, that's fine. Then Yahtzee Croshaw presents. Seven Days a Skeptic. I don't know. Sometimes I get a feeling that I don't belong here. I'm just going to give him that voice. <laughs> I mean, I'm here on this ship. Surrounded by all these veterans. And I'm terrified that someone will notice me and say I'm in the wrong ship. I keep having this weird dream that I'm in a room filled with people with green skin. And they just watch me, wondering what I'm doing there. And then one day, one of the green people turns around and he's my father. Does that distress you? No, not really. Although I do feel kind of embarrassed. What do you think, John? Well, what do I think? William, I think you're just letting things get to the top, get on top of you. I mean, ship's physician on an exploratory scout ship, that's a pretty heavy first posting. No one expects you to do anything other than your job. <sighs> I suppose you're right. I'm a counselor. I'm always right. Is this what's going to happen? Heh. <laughs> well, sorry to have barged in on you like that. Oh, don't worry. It is literally my job. That's what I'm here for. I'd better get back to sickbay. Thanks, John. So... I'm just getting vibes of Doki Doki Literature Club, and this is nothing like that. I mean... <laughs> it, this game came out way before that. Oh, window. Uh, okay, so things work a bit differently on this one. Note, I have played this game before, but I mean, again, it like like the last game. It's been a very long time. Just stare out the window. I'm sure gazing into space was amazing for the first people to leave Earth, but for me, it's now getting a little sammy, samey. I don't even know. So, I'm just gonna sit down and think. I personally do not want to sit on it until it's re-upholstered. Okay. Suit yourself, buddy. Let's get back to work, I guess. I'm finished with work at the moment. Oh. Well, fine then. Sheesh, let's just take your certificates and just leave. I like them where they are. I don't. They need to be on your face. It's so ugly. <laughs> Fine. Just look at... Yeah, uh, oops. Um, yeah, yeah, just look at the door. I don't see anything interesting. I do. It's a door. It's very interesting con content text. Very interesting item. It's got wood and metal. It's made out of fabric torn 
Fred. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Alright, fine. How about this one? Wait. What? 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 I, I'm, I'm missing the announcement. Hold on! No? Okay. Oh, hey, John. Adam, what's this all about? Beats me. Maybe someone died. Maybe someone died. Oh, okay. Right then, boys and girls. Serena and I have a little announcement to make of something we thought you'd all should know. I thought you were already married. Yes, yes, very witty. Fact is, the scanners have picked up something floating in open space. Something manufactured. S Serena? Thank you, Captain. If I could draw your attention to the tabletop. The object's in... Con the object in... Con oh, God, I can't read. You read it. <laughs> this contact? Let's not get to... It's more likely to be a human artifact left in drift. What else do we know about it? It seems to be some kind of container. The right sort of size to be a cryonic escape pod. Sensors don't show any life signs inside, though. Did you inform High Command? Yes, sir. They recommend we drop a beacon and leave it for a fully equipped research vessel. Just a recommendation, not a direct order. Yes, sir, but... Adam, use the... Oh, God. It's like... Not a direct order? Alright, let's do it! <laughs> Nothing bad's gonna happen, right? I mean, it's not like anything bad happened in the first game. No? Okay. <laughs> Just a minute, John. What do you think of this? I guess I won't know what to think till it's brought in. Yes, yes, quite. You know I'm going to need you there when we're examining it. No, I didn't know that. Come on, John. This is basic procedure. You should know this. This is potentially a first contact scenario. Regulations say a qualified psychologist must be on hand for first contact scenarios. Okay, sure. But I'm not sure what a use I'd be. You really need to stop depreciating? I don't even know. Stop by my quarters for a chat if you'd like. Okay, well, playtime. Okay, how about this door here? Does that one look good? Is it good enough for you? I don't see anything interesting. You're very hard to please, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, doors are interesting, okay? They've got wood. Ow. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Wood, metal, uh, I guess some are made of fabric, maybe? You're playing Yoshi's Woolly World, sure. <laughs> no, that's wool. I don't know. How about this one? You gotta find some door interesting. I don't see anything. Well, god damn it, dude. You suck. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm complaining about a, a non-interest of a door. All right, fine. Sheesh. How about the elevator door? If you say this one's not interesting, then I'm going to give you one of these. All right, take one of these. Take one of these and leave. <sighs> fine. Let's enter the door. Uh, observatory deck? Hey, Angela. I'm just going to pretend you didn't suggest that. Wait a minute. What? Did you just break the fourth wall? Am I going bonkers, or did they just break the fourth wall? Might take me a moment to process. Maybe this is more like Doki Doki Literature Cult than I thought. Should I be checking my files? 
<laughs> no? Yeah, who knows? Maybe Angela here is going to turn out to be a psycho who wants to be with just my main character here. Or maybe just with me. It's like more like Doki Doki by the second. <laughs> All right, Angela. Let's, uh... Just going to check you out. Lieutenant Commander Angela Garrett is the first mate. Okay. Uh, do you want my key card? Here. I may need it. For what? We're not going anywhere, right? It's space. There's literally nowhere to go. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, why don't you try kissing her? No? Oh, okay. Angela? Dr. Somerset, how can I help you? Um... Where am I supposed to go next? Is that on this list? No? Okay. Do you come here often? Usually once a day. Generally before bed. I like to have a little moment to myself. Uh, yes. What do you think this object will turn out to be? Um, playing cards? <laughs> Probably nothing but miscellaneous. Oh, space debris. My bad. <laughs> it's, but I get bored. I'd like to play some poker every now and then. Because why not? Oh, okay, so what do you want this? Oh, that would have fit here. Again, playing cards. It's like poker chips. Um... How about some Monopoly? <laughs> no? Okay. The very practical attitude. I'm not even bothering reading. Really. Like, she's talking. I'm like one of those people who's just like, she starts talking, I start. Hi. Huh? Eh, it's great. That looks better, right? <laughs> Doesn't look odd at all. Nice view, isn't it? I thought so once. But now I've spent so much time spending my <laughs> Huh? <laughs> if I was that way IRL, I'd, I'd be such a dick. <laughs> right. How are you feeling? I'm quite well at the moment, thank you for asking. No problems that require your professional attention. Jolly good. Kind of figured at this point. Okay. Suppose I should be off about my business. Until then, la until later then. All right. Will you at least look outside properly? I sure hope you have the wit to look outside. Okay, I admit it. That's pretty. Look. I'm not talking about Angela. I know you like her. I know you want to... You know what? We're not going to go down that road. <laughs> not right now, at least. Maybe later. If the game needs it. But, I mean... That would utterly shock me. Alright, fine. Let's leave. No, wait. We gotta look at the door first. No. Oh. Wait. Well, wait. No. But I want to look at the door. Okay, fine. <laughs> Okay, look at the door. It, I don't see anything interesting. You're looking at the wall. Of course you don't. I said look at the door. The fuck you two then? <laughs> uh, OpStack, I believe I was just at, right? Yeah. I vaguely remember the map's layout, but that's pretty much it. Oh, two more doors. How about this one? Just stare at it. I don't see anything interesting. Well, fuck. I do. Just look at this one, then. Maybe you'll find something... You gotta find something interesting about one of these doors. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just a lunatic. Well, actually, no. I, I, I am a lunatic. How about this one? Maybe you should hit on her. 
it won't repl- I was talking about Serena, you nink. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hit on the machine. <laughs> it's like like that's like me hitting on my phone. You're pretty today. I like your outfit. Maybe we should make out. Don't look, kids. <laughs> Seriously, it's just about as stupid as that. Okay. Talk to Serena. Serena? Oh, hello, Dr. Somerset. Enjoying your work? Oh, yes, thanks. Don't mind me as I lick my teeth. Was a bit of a change of pace. Yep. Wait, what? I... <sighs> That's what happens when you react and you don't read all the damn dialogue. Not that I'd be able to anyway, but... Meh. Is that console as complicated as it looks? It looks like a piece of cardboard. <laughs> but then I spent four years learning how to use it. I see. What do you think of this alien artifact business? Personally, I don't think it'll turn out to be much. It's the captain's attitude that surprises me. He completely ignored a recommendation from high command. I know he I know how he'd feel if I ignored one of his recommendations. Overjoyed, I suppose. What? Nothing. Yes, it was delayed. Shut up. <laughs> What do you think of the captain? He's a nice person, but confidentially, he seems a bit unprofessional. Why is that? Well, he gets agitated when I call him sir. He keeps asking me to call him Barry. It's not what a captain should be like. Well, I mean, he sounds like me, very casual. Nothing you'd like to talk to me about? If I think of something, I know where your office is. Of course. Well, I'll see you around. Bye. It's just like, bye? I gotta get back to work. Why are you still here? <laughs> Alright, fine. I'm gone. Gosh. Open the door. Uh, I've already tried looking at them. He just doesn't want to look at the doors. What's so bad about... Is the door really that ugly? I mean, come on. Look, 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 just look at it. It's so beautiful. I don't see anything interesting. I do! It's a door! Ugh. <laughs> doors are interesting, damn it. <laughs> How about this one? Yeah, it's great. You made my hair this way. I do! It's a frackin' door! Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna do this now. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll treat it like a beard. <laughs> How about this one? Motherfucker. I freaking these are about to fall off and they fell off <laughs> okay yeah I'll wait till the end of the episode I guess speaking of which where are we on time right now I can't even see the time oops 19 wow Barely got into the whole thing at all. Almost. Wow. Okay. Well. Fine. Let's get back to work, I guess. I'm finished with work at the moment. Wait. Was I supposed to go talk to... Uh, Barry? That was what was supposed to happen? Okay. Well... I guess I'll save that for next time. We're going to start in this episode and next episode at the exact same place. <laughs> but, yeah, um, face forward. 
That's going to just be my thing with every episode. I just have him face towards you. Since apparently he likes to break the fourth wall anyway. But anyway, I am going to leave this episode of 7 Days of Skeptic here. So thank you guys so much for watching it. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you got any suggestions for me of anything you'd like to you'd like me to play, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you want to check out any other videos I've done in the past, click the box in the bottom right over there. Well, in the meantime, I am out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!